think we can all agree on one thing. The best feeling in the world is that topwater blow up. In today's video, we go topwater fishing for giant bass in small ponds, and boy, do we catch what we were here for. Biggin. I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, boys and girls, we got our top water on and we're ready to go. I got a mock patroller on in Chrome. If you guys want to check out any of the mock baits, you can check them out on mocknation.com. I'll link it down below and I'll pop my discount code on the screen. I got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check that out, kickingtheirbass.com. I have a link down below. Go copy one. It's the perfect time of year to get out and do some fishing. I appreciate everybody who supports me and the brand. A little windy today, but we're going to push through it. And hopefully we can catch some fish on top water guys i'm excited about it first cast first cast unreal i think it's gonna be on boys maybe this wind's gonna help us <laughs> and these are the ones you need to be careful with i'm not gonna lie that that's like a tiny bass look how fat he is that is a future toad i'm telling you i'm actually gonna get the pliers out on this one i'm telling you boys these small ones like this with treble hooks, these are the ones that get you. I mean, look how fat that guy is. He is, <laughs> he's massive, man. He's massive for his little frame. What a freaking start. I can't believe that, guys. First cast on the patroller, and we already got smoked. Not a big one, but that is a really good sign. Maybe this wind's going to help out this bite. That's what I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and get started. Cover a lot of water. We're going to be moving really fast today and just trying to fish as many ponds as we can. We're kind of going to pond hop and uh, just hop around to a bunch of different areas on the hunt for these giant bass. And uh, I think we're going to end up getting a couple big ones today, especially if they keep on biting. Just how that first one did. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Right here, right on that point, little grass point. Looks so good. Is that a big and I can't move him, he's stuck. No way he came off. He came off. No. It looks so good. This thing messed me up. What is what even is that? It's like a metal wire. Oh man. Looks like about a three pounder. I don't think he was a giant, but it was a good fish right there. I'm about to say that grass point looks so good. And then he just slams it. Oh man. Maybe there's another one back up in here. One thing that we have going in our favor is all this wind's pushing up in this corner. And there might be a good bit of fish stacked up right in this little pocket. wasn't paying attention what just happened oh man that was a nice little boil what in the world This one might bite again though. Got a bunch of wind here, pushing up in this corner. Such an awkward spot. I probably would've caught that fish if I just have room to hook set and everything. It's such a weird spot to cast in. I cannot believe he didn't hit it again. I really thought he would've. He seemed a little fired up. 
or we're getting bites that's what really matters here you know i've been out days and where you can tell they just don't want top water these fish are at least biting we've caught one fish and had we should have caught two that was just unfortunate but we caught one fish and had four bites total that's a good sign man only been out here for about 30 minutes it's a great sign i got him and he's stuck on that thing no way he came off he... oh he's still on oh oh he's still on come on he's on like a rope again guys you see him right there he's not big but dang this is all briars right here too that uh, is a very oh he came off yes <laughs> let's go guys buddy i really wanted to catch you i'm so glad that you came back to eat this patroller oh man i i miss top water fishing guys it's been so long we filmed one frog video this year and that's about it this is our first like official top water video other than that one and man this is just so much fun seeing those fish blow up on the top water getting to cover water pretty fast with this patroller and man, we're doing pretty good. We're off to a good start. That is a fat bass. Thank you so much for biting. I'm glad you bit it again. You almost got us hung and we almost lost our bait, but thank you for coming off. You helped me out there. Let's go. There we go, boys. All right, so we've had five bites now and we have two fish. Should really have three. That's not bad at all. The ratio is not horrible. Mock patroller putting in the work. Look at this puppy, still beautiful. Beautiful, little bit of teeth marks on there, but that's it. Beautiful right there, sharp hooks, amazing paint job. Let's keep working down this bank. I really didn't want to have to get in these trees to fish, but since we have that bite, we might as well try, right? Might be some more fish in this area. Wow, what a bite, guys. To get them out of that rope, we got revenge on them little ropes, whatever the heck they are. We got that fish to bite twice. It's a good little sign. feeling that cast oh he had it right away i didn't even move the bait dude are you kidding me i think i have him hooked too and now i'm in the grass patch he's really not gonna be biting like that sucks man my timing today has been good and bad you know that was just a money cast it looked amazing a little tiny grass patch had a feeling we we're gonna get bit on it i mean the moment my bait hit the water he had it i didn't even have to reel it that is just insane. Let's see. Let's see if we get lucky here. Felt like I hooked him. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. We can try a couple more casts. Dang, dude. You're having the worst luck. Just the timing is just crazy. I really should have threw past it. That was, I shouldn't have thrown right on it like that. That was really my mistake. Probably could have saved us a fish right there. That's where he's hiding out, where he should be, right on the end of the grass patch. One thing I really love about this mock patroller here is I can just walk and cast. And that's my favorite type of fishing is when I can move fast. That's just how I like to fish. I like to fish very fast. So having a bait that I can just reel like this and the bait can kind of do the work for you is just so convenient. And being able to pond fish this way too, you can hit a lot more ponds a lot faster. You know, if these fish aren't going to bite, I'm just going to keep on going. I'm not gonna stop at him. If I hit a zone where I'm like, you know, I usually catch a fish here, it looks really good, I might throw a couple extra casts. But for the most part, I'm just walking and casting, just covering water, trying to get as many opportunities as I can. And as you can tell, we haven't been fishing long and we've had a lot of bites. Look at that, another bite right there. See, that's one we could probably catch. But see how quick we covered this bank and then boom, we got a bite. Right here, come on. 
I can't believe he didn't hit me. See, if I was a bass, I would be on the back side of this bridge getting ready to ambush any bait that gets pushed through. But that's just me. I ain't a bass. I was if I was a bass. Bass tend to do some weird things, man. They change and every single hour they're doing something different and moving around and changing. Biggin. Oh yeah. Oh man, that is nice, dude. That is nice, beautiful. How many casts did I take there, guys? I mean, holy cow. Wow, he ate it perfectly. This fish isn't quite three pounds, but he's a high two pounder and I'll take him. I thought it was like a four pounder the way he ate it. That got me excited. That is why we love fishing one, and that is more importantly why we love topwater fishing. Having that blow up, the excitement of that bite is like nothing else, man. It is like nothing else. We got a beautiful like two and a half pounder, I'd say very, very thick body, very thick body, super healthy. We haven't had any giants yet, but we're getting there guys. We've had a good bit of bites and boy has this been fun so far. Top water pond fishing just might have to be a weekly thing. Let me know if you guys want to see a series out of that because we'll freaking do it. Oh, that's so much fun right there. What's crazy is I made all these beautiful casts under this dock in the shade line, which you would think that's where the fish is sitting. Especially what I was talking about with them sitting on the back end of those pilings and waiting for the whatever forge to come through there for them to attack. I did a parallel cast with this bridge just like that. And that fish didn't hit it until he was five foot in front of me. So that's one thing to think about. We have been moving fast today. We've been covering a lot of water, which I think has been good and productive. But at the same time, right there, we threw probably five, six casts before that fish wanted to come out and bite. And he finally committed. So let's keep the ball rolling. We're learning every single cast here. And we're going to run into a giant, I promise you. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Not today. Last video, I got sprayed by that dang sewer water, whatever the heck that stuff is. That stuff stinks, man. I ain't getting into that. That was close, man. Imagine if that was right up my butt. Just hit the dang sprinkler up my pants. That would have sucked. Phew. That was a close one. I'm pretty sure the sprinklers were on about 10 minutes ago. I don't know why they cut back on. All right, boys, it's time to hit the next pond. All right, boys, out at pond number two. Haven't been to this pond in a couple of years, so I really don't know what to expect. So, oh my gosh, that's what we're gonna expect. Not a big one, not a big one, but a bass. Oh my gosh, thank you buddy for biting. Thank you, man. Get our pliers out for that one and you're all good, buddy. Oops. Little tiny dude. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect to catch one that quick. Holy cow, like this is just a pond that I don't, really fish you know i didn't know what to expect pulling up here i thought maybe we could catch one maybe two with that fish biting that quick we might get into a sleigh fest i just hope they're bigger than that one we've caught a few giants out of here so i know they live here water's a little bit clearer in this one which is going to be good with the chrome and i don't know if i really talked about it much if you guys are wondering why i picked the chrome patroller for today it's because it is bluebird skies and super sunny when it is sunny outside, you want more of a chrome color. When it's cloudy outside, I go with more of a white or a bone. So that's pretty much my reasoning from picking chrome. So sunny, I go chrome. Cloudy, I go white or bone. It's a good rule of thumb. Oh my gosh. Dude, he had it right away.
corner looks so good. How do we have a bite that quick and then we just don't have another one? So weird. You would have thought that we would have just started smoking them. Like that corner right there. Oh my goodness. Oh! There we go. I saw the weight come off of them. That's awesome. There we go, boys. Not a big one, but not a bad one. Bigger than the last one. That's a respectable fish right there. Very respectable. Look at that. That is not a bad bass by any means. Not a giant, but I mean, super thick bed, belly, very healthy. Almost a two pounder. Thank you, buddy. I saw his weight coming right off the bed. I was about to say that back corner just looks so good. And uh, he destroyed it. That was not a bad one at all. I want to see a four or five pounder though. Just demolish the thing. Whoa. I probably scared every fish over there. I think I grabbed a tree branch and scared me. Good. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Right in front of that tree, get a ton of wind pushing back all the way in this cove, and that bass was just angry. Thank you so much for biting, man. Little tiny guy just put up a freaking fight. I think we're gonna have multiple bites here, guys. This tree's been good, as in holding like a lot of fish. It's been a good little spot. Maybe we can fire him up here. It's like one spot on this pond that sometimes, I'm not even gonna say sometimes, 99% of the time, it's gonna hold more than one fish. Mama. Oh, is that her? Uh oh, this is her, guys. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's freaking go, boys. Not a giant, but it's a good one. Let's go. Like a two pounder. Let's go, boys. We're freaking doing it. We're doing it. Mock patroller is smashing it, man. It is killing it right now. Make sure you guys go cop yourself one. I got the 10% off code from the beginning. Wow, pretty fish. Not a giant, but we're getting better. We are getting better. There he goes. Had to be patient with it. I think there's more. I think we can keep casting and catching them. Just need him to fire up and get aggressive. This wind is crazy, man. It's blowing today. That's a big one. That's a big one. Let's go, baby. That's what we've been waiting on. He hit it right on the edge of that grass. Let's go. Oh my gosh, she's not even as big as I thought, but he's two pounds, easy. Oh my gosh, you looked so large. I got him right in the nose. Look at that brute. That is a brute of a bass. Right in the nose. He was right on the edge of that grass. That is a thick fish. Here we go, boys. We're freaking smoking them. Still have yet to see a really big one. But we're still hunting. We're not giving up hope, guys. Got to stay positive. Got to stay confident. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. That was probably our coolest blow up yet. Besides that one next to the bridge. That was pretty nasty. we go oh that's a better one look at that yeah nice one they're all just around the same size like between a pound and two pounds that's about it all right buddy all right he's gonna flop himself back in the water <laughs> that was a pretty cool bite not a big one but a pretty cool bite
Bass? No, largemouth. Yeah, they're not too big, but there's a few in here. The pond wasn't a complete bust. We at least caught a few fish out of it. Just nothing big yet. We're still hunting though. We're gonna go to some more ponds and see what we can put together. So before that guy asked me, he was like, what are you catching? I thought he was gonna yell at me for fishing, but he was like, what are you catching, smallmouth? And I'm like, no, they're largemouth. But just imagine, just imagine if we could go in ponds like this, like in Georgia or Florida or wherever and just catch some smallmouth. That would, that would be insane. But no, he's a nice guy. Just wondering what I was doing. I guess, or what I was fishing for. I was like, yeah, it seems about that time that we get kicked out. That's what I was thinking. Somebody would get upset. So right before he actually asked me that, I saw his wife on the back porch and it just caught my eye. Cause I was like, what in the heck is that? She was either had binoculars on me or she had a camera on me, one or the other. Maybe she was just trying to figure out what I was doing or what I was fishing for. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was binoculars. I don't know, it's interesting. <laughs> that's probably, that, that's definitely not the first time I've had someone either whip out a camera or binoculars on me though. <laughs> not the first. That was such a beautiful cast and the pine straw had to ruin it. It's all good, let's get back in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, there she is. That's a big one, boys. It's a freaking big one. On the mock patroller. Let's go, baby. You've been waiting on it. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, yeah, I have a good bit. Oh, uh, not all of them. No, I've seen some a lot bigger though. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. You have a good one. There we go, boys. We finally got us a freaking good one. Let's go. That bite was so cool. That bite was awesome. Wow, that was sweet. What's crazy about this is I haven't fished this place and I couldn't even tell you how long. I mean, it's been probably five years. And I honestly forgot that they were fishing here. I want to say we've caught a big one before in this pond, but I can't even remember. I don't have too many memories out of this pond. <laughs> and uh, I made that cast along the grass, didn't have nothing. And then I saw this little corner and I thought I saw a little ripple. And I was like, you know what? It'd be worth throwing right here and kind of reeling it in that pocket. And that's when that freaking monster just ate it. That was a crazy bite. Let's see if we can keep it rolling and get us another big one. Wow, that was cool. That was the best noise from a blow up you want to hear. All right, boys and girls, we are back where it all started. And uh, we're going to see if these fish are going to bite this top water better. I had to stop back by here. I just had to. I just had a feeling that we could snag some of these big ones. Maybe the big ones will start biting here later in the day. That's kind of what happened last time that we fished this place. We fished the first thing, caught a bunch of small ones. Then we came back towards the end and that's when the big ones are eating. So we're gonna try that today with this top water as the sun's going down. Might be a good idea.
Oh my gosh. This has to be a carp. If that was a bass, I was every bit of freaking 10 pounds. I mean, that boil was absurd. And he spooked a little early, so I want to say it was a carp. But if that was a bass, that was a freaking tank. Right here. Yep. That feels like a better one. I can't tell. That's not a bad one at all, man. Not a bad bass. He's fighting real good. I have this little gill plate here. That's why. Thank you for biting, buddy. Well, male bass. Thank you for biting. You're so predictable. I know exactly where you're at on that grass. So predictable. That water is warmer than the air temp right now. It feels amazing. We haven't had that many bites coming back through this pond. I mean, I haven't had any bites, matter of fact, except for that one. But this is actually one section of the pond that we didn't hit earlier. I didn't even mind coming back here because the dang sprinklers were on and that whole deal. Should be another one on this grass patch. The small grass patches I've been promising. The bigger ones like this, I haven't really had much luck on. And then small little isolated ones have been pretty promising. Almost everyone I throw on has a fish. You would think a nice bass would sit up in that. actually a big boil and I freaking got a piece of them. I think that was a big fish. Oh man. That really stinks, right? Did y'all notice something there? Fish is huge. I just saw his whole body. Is he gonna come back for it, bro? No way I missed him twice. See, I shouldn't have missed that fish twice. That's a freaking monster, guys. Straight up monster. Jeez. The the boil that she had. She was just that second time, man. I stuck her twice there. I have no idea how I didn't get her hooked. That's just beyond me. These hooks on the mock baits are so sharp, too. Like, I mean, ultra sharp. Man, she's gonna have it. 